the town of Farmington. Respecting history, planning the future. It is now 7 p.m. We will begin our January 10th, 2023 first meeting of the year with the Pledge of Allegiance. Johnny, please close off. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. We will begin the evening with presentations and recognitions. Our first presentation is for Ed Leary. And Ed, if you will come up to the podium, please. I do. I do. Don't do that. Uh, I'll read the proclamation in a moment. Um, Ed has been in the registrar's office since 2000. 2000. Uh, the only registrar we've had this millennium. Uh, I've worked closely with Ed a number of times uh, over the years. He's been a tremendous help, a tremendous asset to the town. Uh, and some of those ways he has been a tremendous asset I will be reading in this proclamation. But Ed, I'd just like to personally say thank you for all the hard work you've put in. I could always track you down even when you didn't necessarily want to be tracked down. So thank you for all you do. With that, our proclamation. Whereas Edward Ed Leary has served as the Farmington Republican Town Registrar of Voters since 2000, and whereas Ed Leary has been a Farmington resident for 50 years, having moved to Farmington in 1973 to work at Stanley Works in New Britain as a financial analyst and then an assistant treasurer until 1993, and whereas Ed Leary has been an active member of the community for years, he was a former trustee of the Farmington Village Green and Library Association and former treasurer of the Farmington Historical Society for 10 years, and whereas Ed Leary oversaw 22 years of elections at the Farmington Republican Registrar of Voters, including five presidential elections, six gubernatorial elections, and countless local elections, primaries, and referendums, the last we just had this past month. Whereas Ed Leary has always maintained a focus on the public good and learning the ins and outs of the state registration and changes regarding voter registration by keeping in regular contact with the Secretary of State's office and transmitting new information to those involved in running elections for our town of Farmington. And whereas Ed has always worked to establish extreme accuracy in voter records as well as impress this upon all workers, and whereas Ed Leary has been married to Kathy for 58 years and has three children, Christopher, Jennifer, and Jonathan, he and Kathy have six grandchildren living in Farmington, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina. Ed's hobbies include gardening, reading about aviation, reviewing financial reports, questionable, and spending time with grandchildren. And now, therefore, the Farmington Town Council hereby commends Ed Leary for his excellent work on behalf of the voting community, and we hereby thank him for his selfless dedication and immeasurable contributions and commitment to the town of Farmington and its residents. The Farmington Town Council hereby extends to Ed and his wife, Kathy, best wishes for their future endeavors. Dated this 28th day of December, 2000. 22, Farmington, Connecticut. We're obviously delayed. C.J. Thomas, Chair, Farmington Town Council. When I knew this day was coming, I scratched my head and said, what should I say? I can't cover... 20 odd years of activities in the town hall and within your patience. Um, so I think I'll just condense it down to I'm lucky. I'm lucky for the people I work with because they helped along the way, training me, teaching me, correcting me, volunteering, and that made the job both lively and fun and build your confidence. And that's what I will carry out of here, that feeling of goodwill 
for the people I've worked with here at the town hall, and those that aren't here in the town hall, but citizens throughout uh, the town. Um, I'm going to be a little boastful here. I think we run a good shop for voting, despite the press that you hear that tends to get the headlines. Most of that you hopefully will know is overdone, but that's how you make headlines and get people to pay attention. But I think in Farmington and most of Connecticut, things run as they should. And one of the best ways to make it go right is to get your co-citizens to volunteer to work at the polls. You'd be surprised the reaction we get from people saying, I didn't know this was so hard. I didn't know we had to do all that stuff. There's so many rules. Well, that builds their confidence that we're doing the right thing for them. And I'd like to get more volunteers for the next succession of uh, registrars. And it's up to you to talk it up and get your spouses to come out first, and then maybe your adult children, and then maybe it will become contagious. But um, we always need good people, and we have some here already. Thank you. Thank you. Don't go away. We have nice to meet you also. <laughs> and like a true, oh, well, here we go. We'll get one picture here before oh, we get Mike up. Photographs, photographs. Absolutely, here, step, oh, step out from behind the podium. All right. Step over, shuffle over. You good? Yeah, that's okay. No, you good. You good. You can hold. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Here right. we go. One more. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Stay up here. Yeah. Mike. You're welcome. And of course, Ed. When the oh. weather permits, you have your Farmington cap. Good. I need to keep the sun on. I do not own a Farmington one. Thank you. Mike. Here we go. Okay. Good. Right. Thank you. <laughs> so I, there's not much that I can add uh, to, to what was already said by uh, the chair and by uh, Ed, except I, I agree with you. We need good people to help run elections, and we always get good people, and hopefully we'll continue to, to, to follow your tradition and your example of doing that. So um, without further ado, I have a proclamation, State of Connecticut, General Assembly, official site, excuse me, it's not a proclamation, it's a citation. Official citation introduced by Representative D'Amico, Representative Cooley, Senator Slap, and Senator Lopes. Be it hereby known to all that the Connecticut General Assembly offers its sincerest congratulations to Ed Leary in recognition of your two decades of dedicated service as Farmington's Republican Registrar of Voters. As a town resident for 50 years, you have been an active member of numerous civic organizations. The residents, voters, and institutions of Farmington and Unionville are the beneficiaries of your thoughtful leadership, devotion to democracy, concern for accuracy, and attention to detail. And that's very important. The entire membership extends its very best wishes on this memorable occasion and expresses the hope for continued success given this 10th day of January at the State Capitol in Hartford, and it's signed by Martin Looney, President Pro Tem of the Senate, Matt Ritter, Speaker of the House, and Stephanie Thomas, Secretary of the State. Congratulations and thank you, Ed. Thank you. Right. Oh, we're gonna do photo? <laughs> Another? Okay. Can I get one more? Yeah, you guys don't mind, do you? No. Uh, I hate that now. Who could stop it? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Perfect. One more? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, now you made me stop. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ed, again, for all you've done. Next, our presentation is our Human Rights Day presentation, an annual award, which we also put off since December. Uh, this is uh, going to be a pre-recorded presentation. Uh, from the Human Relations Commission for Human Rights Day. The pre presentation usually takes place in December. Uh, on December 10th is Human Rights Day. Uh, because of illness, we could not have it at that point in time. The commission will be meeting at the end of January as part of their meeting. They will formally acknowledge the day as well as honor the recipient of the annual award. So with that being said, could we play the presentation, please? 
On behalf of Farmington Human Relations Commission, we are proud to declare December 10th International Human Rights Day. On December 10th, 1948, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, marking the first World Human Rights Day. The Declaration includes 30 articles detailing the fundamental human rights that are universally protected. Each year, the United Nations chooses a theme for Human Rights Day. This year, in 2022, the theme is Dignity, Freedom, and Justice for All. The Farmington Human Relations Commission is responsible for fostering a mutual understanding and respect among all members of the community. Each year, as part of Human Rights Day, the Commission likes to recognize an individual or an organization who has demonstrated an outstanding commitment to furthering the promotion and protection of human rights and fundamental freedoms. The Farmington Human Relations Commission would like to celebrate Farmington's Racial Equity Task Force. Since the formation of the task force, they have been working tirelessly on creating a community that focuses on dignity, freedom, and justice for all. At our next Human Relations Commission meeting, we will invite them as our special guest to give them their award. Okay, thank you very much for the presentation. Moving on to item D, public hearing. We have none this evening. E, new items, none. We will now move on to item F, public comment. Uh, this is the point where first we will go to those here in person for public comment, then we will go online. If you are making a comment, please step to the podium, state your name and address, and if you could keep your comment to five minutes, uh, we would appreciate that. So, in public, please. Good evening, uh, Robert Parker, uh, 22 Tanglewood Road. Um, first of all, I'd like to uh, say thank you for all of you serving, uh, serving the town. Uh, we all appreciate it, and we know what you do. And it's a thankless position, but thank you once again. Uh, it's been a while since I talked in front of the council, um, and please forgive me, I work nights now, so this is already past my bedtime, so bear with me. Um, my comments start off with um, the 1928 building, and I know there was a meeting last night, unfortunately I could not make it. Um, I'm just curious as to why the rush. Um, the high school won't be finished for a couple years. It'll take another year or so to take down the existing buildings. Why is the rush to push this building forward through a referendum? I know you guys did a survey, I just read the newsletter that I got, and 78% of the town wants something done with that building. And I do too, I think it's iconic, I think it's, you know, it, it is um, Farmington's symbol, to be honest with you. But we're also building a $145 million high school right now, plus what's gonna be a new bridge directly across the street. How much can the town handle? just in terms of construction in, in one little area of town. I know that there's two options to be put forth on this referendum, which is save the building or destroy it. There really needs to be a third. All right, we really need to put this on hold for the time being. I know there's money involved with um, not necessarily mothballing it, but covering up the holes and um, that'll happen when, when the building, the rest of the building is destroyed, but this is too much for the town to take on. $145 million is the largest high school or most expensive high school, second most sec, uh, uh, high school building in Connecticut, second only to Hartford's Weaver. 
that's phenomenal, guys. Don't, we need to take one step at a time. And uh, throwing this on our laps, especially in a reval year, um, we have no idea what's going to happen to the mill rate. Um, with my predictions on, you know, we don't have any averages yet from, from Tyler from the reassessment. My assessment's going up $59,000. $59,000. For my taxes to remain the same, the mill rate needs to drop between six and seven mills for my taxes to stay the same. I've been in town for 20 years now. My tax escrow payment is now coming very close to matching my principal and interest payment on my mortgage. That's insane. That is just insane, guys. We need to take a pause. We need to take a chill and put this building on hold for a couple years and figure out where our taxes are going to go. Um, just to return to my notes again, uh, forgive me. Um, it just, uh, and again, in, in, it just seems like the town is on a tremendous um, spending spree right now. You know, it's walking around with an open checkbook. You know, we have, what, six, five or six other schools. We have five fire stations, a police station, community center. We have Tunxis Mead. We have playgrounds. All that stuff is going to need to be maintained. You know, in looking on the, the agenda for today, there's another public hearing in February for the seven-year capital improvements um, budget. When's it going to stop? I know, I know all these buildings need to be maintained, but enough has got to be enough at some point, guys and, and ladies. Um, you know, inflation, as you all know, are, are killing us. Home heating oil prices, electricity rates just went up 75%. Um, the food prices are high. Gas prices are still relatively high. How much more can people handle? You know, you're looking at taxes. I know it's still a couple years before the high school hits us, but it, it's just too much, guys. Just so, so you know, uh, bear with us here. Um, there really needs to be a third option on that 1928 committee. That it just needs to be put on pause for a couple years until we could figure out what's going on with the new budget and the new mill rate. People are getting killed, and we just can't handle it. Um, and my last comment in conclusion is, is, is pretty much, to me, it just seems, again, that the town is on a tremendous spending spree. And we're just spending money like a, you know, like a college kid's on spring break with their, with their parents' credit card. It's got to stop got to stop thank you thank you for your comments and thank you for thanking us for the thankless job <laughs> uh, any other comments here in person seeing none do we have any online seeing no hands online but we'll give it another moment we do have one hand Andre Simons okay Andre can you hear us Uh, yes, I can. Can you hear me? We can. If you can okay. see. Hello, this is uh, Andre Simons. I am a resident of 86 Helm Drive uh, here in Farmington. Uh, I would just like to leave for the town council a public comment of, I know this is the new year. I know that uh, priorities are being evaluated and I've spoken to the council a couple of months ago about this issue and I Think this should be uh, evaluated even if it is in a uh, subcommittee or whatever the case may be but i would really like for there to be an initiative on sidewalks for this town especially in our urban centers and especially where the lands are public and not privately owned i know that there are provisions within our town uh, bylaws that say that there's responsibility of payment for uh, property owners for the sidewalks that are in front of their property but I'm just more discussing lands that are, for example, near the West Farms Mall, which I cited a few months ago. Um, thank you for your time, and I really appreciate it. Thank you for your comments. Any other public comment? None at this time. Okay. Hearing none, 
We will be moving on to item G, reading of the minutes. Joseph. I'd like to make a motion to accept the minutes of the regular town council meeting on December 13th, 2022. Second. We have a motion to second. Any comments? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed unanimously. Uh, next item, reading of communications and written appeals. Are there any, Devin? None at this time. Okay, no communications or written appeals. So we'll move on to the report of the committee's 1928 building committee. Yes, uh, we met you. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. No problem. We met you last night to discuss um, how everything is going. Our first newsletter went out to the town. A second one should be followed up in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're trying to get numbers on what it will cost in order to bring the building up to the type of code in order to make it the possible town hall. And um, we now have to start talking with the Farmington High School Building Committee to obviously figure out two projects possibly going on at once, who's responsible for A, who's responsible for B and C, and to figure out timing on how to get those done. So as we heard earlier, when those walls do come down from the old school, there's gonna be big gaping holes into the existing 1928 building. So things will need to be shored up and closed in. And obviously, will be here, they'll be here presenting in two weeks with their package. Great, I look forward to hearing more about that. Uh, Farm and High School Building Committee. Yes, um, so we met last week where we voted uh, to authorize the Town of Farmington to sign the ONG Guaranteed Maximum Price document, uh, which lays out basically the maximum price unless the committee votes to change or add something. Mm -hmm. Um, construction is continuing. We have uh, storm drainage installed. There's some footings about halfway around the building, um, and they've started the uh, uh, the foundation at this point. So if anybody wants to take a look, you can walk up to the top fields and take a bird's eye view. Uh, next meeting is uh, going to be the 18th of January at 5 o'clock. Great. Thank you. Green Efforts Committee. Uh, green Efforts, we met... Um, Last week as well, um, we are planning the annual townwide cleanup day. We don't have the exact day, but it'll be most likely around the third week of April, um, which we correlate with the hazardous waste pickup. Um, so there'll be more to come on that. Okay. Land acquisition. Nothing new to that. Racial Equality Task Force. And nothing new to that. For that. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on to item J, reports to the town council chair and liaisons. Uh, Town Council Chair, that's me. Start off just by wishing everyone a happy new year. Uh, welcome to 2023. Uh, few items of note. Uh, first off, for those of you who have Christmas trees, uh, they will be picked up at the curb for the next two weeks. Uh, if you are putting it at the curb, please take off any non-organic materials from your tree. If you don't like an ornament, just throw it away. Don't have them recycle it. Uh, you can also bring your trees to Tunxus Mead Compost Area if you so choose. Uh, there's uh, a local author, I just noticed the story in the paper, and for someone who has a rescue dog, it caught my attention. Uh, Cindy Marie Ryder's written a children's book titled Sadie in the City, and all proceeds for that book will go towards dog rescue organizations. So check that out online. Uh, there is uh, a mindfulness-based stress reduction for those of you still trying to get over all the family being with you over the holidays. Uh, that's at Copper Beach Institute. Starts tomorrow night uh, at 303 Tunxis Road. Uh, that's at the Holy Family Retreat Center, which is actually in Farmington, which some people don't realize because they have a West Hartford address. Uh, also, if you want another option to calm down a little bit, the Bridge Healing Arts Center has got a number of different meditation classes. So you can look for them and find them, as well as most things on here, uh, through our Explore Farmington page. Uh, there is Farmington Night at the Wolf Pack will be January 21st. Uh, proceeds, if you purchase the tickets uh, through a representative of the community chest, uh, proceeds will be going towards supporting our local community chest. So reach out. Uh, Joe, would that be anyone at Community Trust? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, also, Little League signups have begun. So if you're interested, please check that out. And every Saturday on uh, New Britain Avenue, you can get free appraisals for your antiques at Antique, A N T I Q U. Uh, and that is what I've got for today for the uh, report. So with that, we'll move on to conservation and inland wetlands. Nothing new to report. Okay. 
Next up, Board of Education. Nothing new to report there either. Okay. Uh, the Bicycle and Trails Advisory Committee uh, is looking at setting the priority list for the coming year, so hopefully at our next meeting I will have that for you. Economic Development Commission. <clears throat> Uh, yes, uh, thank you, CJ. Uh, the EDC met on December 14th, and uh, the commission unanimously voted to issue a positive referral for special permit and site plan approval for Mott Corporation at 1690 New Britain Avenue. Uh, Mott Corporation plans to expand their manufacturing footprint with the lease of 65,000 square feet of space at this location. And once complete, the space will house their clean energy business offices and manufacturing of porous metal products uh, that are used uh, in electrolysis applications in, in the generation of hydrogen, um, uh, green hydrogen uh, in the clean energy market. And the next EDC meeting is scheduled for Jan uh, tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. Great, thanks, Ed. Uh, Foreman Historic District Commission. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, elections were, of officers were held at our last meeting, <coughs> and uh, the commission voted unanimous, unanimously uh, for Commissioner Bambara as chair for 2023. Uh, unanimously accepted uh, or elected uh, Commissioner Calciano as vice chair, and unanimously uh, elected Commissioner Phelan as secretary for 2023. And our next meeting is going to be next Tuesday, the 17th at 5 p.m. here. Great. And Brian, who voted in those elections? Uh, who voted in those elections? Yep. Well, the commission did. Did the alternates or just the sitting commissioners? You know, that's a good question. You know? Well, that, yes. No. <laughs> it's uh, just the sitting commissioners. I right. should have been voting in that election, so hopefully that's the case. That is what was voted. Okay. Uh, housing Authority. Nothing to report. Uh, Human Relations Commission. So as we just heard on the presentation, the Racial Equity Task Force was invited as a third recipient, um, and they will be presented an award um, on Human Rights Day, or Human Rights Day Award, I should say. Uh, they'll also be discussing collaborative, possible collaboration with the Human Rights Commission and the Racial Equity Task Force in the near future. Great. Uh, library Board. Nothing to report. <clears throat> Town Planning and Zoning. TBZ met last night uh, and adopted a moratorium on new single-family residential developments with three or more dwelling units. Uh, the, the purpose was to create a pause in res residential applications to allow staff time to research and discuss regulation options with town planning and zoning membership as they relate to Farmington's affordable housing plan. Uh, it's a six-month pause with an option to extend it an additional six months. Uh, the next TBZ meeting is January 23rd. Great. Thank you. Union Mill Historic. Uh, nothing new to report. Unionville Village Improvement Association. And nothing new to report. Okay, that's what we get early in January. Uh, <laughs> WPCA. Nothing new to report, but the tomorrow night is their meeting at 7 o'clock and also on Zoom. Great. Any other liaisons need reporting? Hearing none. Okay, we will move on to item K, report of the town manager. Sitting in for town managers, acting town manager, Joe Swecky. Thank you, CJ. A um, couple of items to uh, report on. In our February meeting, we normally invite the state uh, legislative, Farmington state legislative delegation to attend the council meeting. Those invitations will be going out shortly. Um, so the February 7th meeting, we hope to have our, our representatives there to discuss the upcoming uh, state budget and any other issues that will be coming before the legislature. Um, you have at your place the town council budget schedule for 2023. We will be... Um, Starting that in March, and the schedule is there. Let's take note when the end of town meeting is and the referendum, and, and also all your budget workshops. Um, also at your place is the holiday program update. Our social, social services department was very busy this past uh, holiday season from Thanksgiving through the um, Christmas, New Year's holiday. The other uh, programs are outlined in the report you have in front of you. And then finally, budget targets at the February 7th meeting. We'll be supplying some information to the council on budget history, tax rate history, um, with the uh, intent that the council will give us some guidance on targets for next year's budget, what you're looking for. Um, you've usually done this one of two ways. You've either given us an expenditure percent target, or in some years it's actually been a tax rate target. Yeah. If there's any additional information you want besides what we normally give you, um, please let us know. You can either let the, uh, the town manager or myself know, 
and we'll prepare that information also for the February 7th meeting. And I believe that is everything I have. Great, thank you, Joe. Like any, any questions or comments for Joe? Okay, go ahead. Thank you. I'd like to make a motion to, to accept the Tom Aarons report. Second. Motion and a second. Now any other questions or comments? Uh, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed unanimously. Moving on to item L, appointments. Rafina. Oh, I'd like to make a motion, L12, that Mayor Jane Parlow be reappointed to the Fa Farmington Fa Valley Health District for a three-year term beginning January 1st, 2023 and ending December 31st, 2025. Second. I have a motion and a second. second. Any questions or comments? Actually, I have a comment. Go ahead. So if it's 2023 to 2025, that's only two years, but we're saying it's three years. So should that be 2026? Hold on. Because this is a new term, right? Right. Maureen, do you have that? Well, <coughs> it's three years. unfortunately, I don't have the appointment. Oh, no. It's three, four, and five. Yeah, three, three four, and five. Four. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to be clear. Yes, very good. We're counting all three of those years. It's all a right. full year five. So, yes. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Most pass unanimously. Okay, moving on to old business. We have none. New business, N1. Joe. N1. Yes, I'll make a motion to approve the lighted building list as follows. 14 Blue Ridge and 23 Lakeview Drive. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions or comments? How, um, question, how do these properties make it on the blighted list? Is this something that staff goes around and... And, and basically surveys the town, or is it through complaint process? Sorry. Joe, you want to get that? Sure. It, it's, it's actually could be a combination of both. Um, we do have staff who um, do go around, but we also do get complaints from neighbors or residents about properties. And once we do get a complaint, staff will go out and inspect the property, talk to the property owner, and um, try to work with them initially on and as you can see, some of the history here on these two properties, we try to work with them first, and then eventually, um, if we don't get any results, we then recommend that it go on the blighted property list. Okay, thank you. And as Joe mentioned, some of these did not go on at one point in time with promises of work being done, and sometimes they come back to us, unfortunately. Okay, any other questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed unanimously. Agenda item N2, I'd like to make a motion to set a public hearing on February 7th, 2023 at 7.05 p.m. at the Town Hall Council Chambers to amend the Farmington Town Code Chapter 111 Historic Areas for the purpose of adding two historic properties under the jurisdiction of the Farmington Historic District Commission. Second. We have a motion to second. Any questions or further comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed unanimously. Up to you. There we go. Agenda item N3. I'd like to make a motion to set a public hearing for February 28th, 2023, 6 p.m. on the town manager's proposed seven year capital improvement plan. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions or comments? No, just a I'm sorry, uh, CJ, just to point out, this is a 6 p.m. meeting on the 28th. Um, it will be the start of our, our budget uh, process for the for next year. And, and again, at this hearing, it, it is a hearing and also a presentation by the Board of Education and the town manager on what they're proposing for next year's capital improvement program. Thank you, Joe. Important to note the times on all those meetings because they are not all 7 o'clock meetings. Okay, any other comments? Of motion a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed unanimously. Item four. Agenda item in four. I'd like to make a motion to approve the following property tax refunds, which I'm not on the list of. Uh, second. We have a motion a second. Any other questions or comments? <laughs> Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed unanimously. Move on to item O, executive session. Having none, before I ask for an adjournment, I will leave you with our quote for the evening. This from Ben Franklin. Always be at war with your vices, at peace with your neighbors, 
and let each year find you a better man. And of course, if he were saying that today, he would have said a better person. That being said, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. I'd like to make a motion for the regular town council meeting to adjourn at January 10th, 2023. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on that? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 7.35, we are adjourned. Thank you, folks.